The death of a man at International Paper did not have to happen. That's what the father of 44-year-old Mike Hill tells us. When we lose our parents, we lose our siblings, we sometimes lose our spouses. But something about a loss of a child, it's, it's just devastating. Last summer, Hill was thrown from the cab of a crane. The coroner says he fell 70 feet to his death. In an exclusive On Your Side investigation, Christy Etheridge looks at how faulty brakes and working through severe weather left a family without a son. Not many people know what it's like to lose a son. William Hill does. But to find out that there was some, some problems with the equipment, some, some of the problems, I, I'm not sure what, because I haven't read the investigation. But I have, and this is what it says. On June 22, 2015, Mike Hill boarded this crane when around 5.45 p.m., severe weather caused a microburst or small tornado. Those high winds pushed the cab of the crane down the track until it crashed into the rail stops. The force of the impact caused the crane to derail and the cab to dislodge and swing freely, only held by cables and wiring. As the cab dangled there, Hill was thrown from it, 70 feet to his death. I'll, I'll never hear his voice again. I'll never be able to hold him again. Um, it's a loss that, that I can't, I can't describe. Mike's father, William, says he learned this through News 12 stories. Other than what, what you have broadcast, I still don't know the details of the accident. You might think that since weather was a factor, it couldn't be helped, but you'd be wrong. The accident happened around 545. This is a picture from our weather center of what the sky looked like at that time. People on site say the weather happened with no warning. Eyewitnesses say it was raining so hard you could barely see. The wind so strong it was shaking trucks. In the wood yard, they rely on security to notify them of bad weather. On this day, a worker says, quote, if security warned us, didn't hear it. But News 12 archives show there was plenty of warning. Yeah, there's some storms out here this afternoon, packing a punch. We were on the air at 510, showing a cell with lots of lightning heading straight for the plant. The severe weather warning was issued two minutes later at 512 by the National Weather Service. An alert that would have come over the radio. In our mind, we can picture Michael falling through the, falling, falling through the death from the crane. How, what went through his mind during that short period of time? It's the hardest part. He's thinking about it all the time. According to this OSHA report, weather wasn't the only factor. Over the radio, other workers heard Mike calling out, coming down, coming down, no breaks. Documents show the company had work orders to replace four of the 12 motor drives because of brakes being bad. Those were issued in February, four months before the accident. They were never replaced. If they knew the brakes were defective, why were they allowing it to continue to operate? OSHA cited international paper for two violations. One, for not having proper braking means, and two, for failing to ensure Hill was wearing a seat belt. Those violations were only $7,000 a piece. It's more than a slap in the face. It's just like you've been run over by a train. It's just, it's devastating. Making it hard now, seven months later, to move on. I would like to see somebody held accountable for what happened. That's what the bottom line is. The accountability. So obviously OSHA does a big job of investigating, but they also have recommendations when it comes to accountability. What about that? They do. The accountability comes in a list of corrective actions that they have suggested for the plant. There are seven pages of corrections um, that I've gone through, and I've listed some. The redesign crane procedure, including when to tie down the crane. They also mentioned upgrade the storm break system, integrate an anemometer, which calculates wind speed, and install internet on the operator's computer so that they can monitor whether radar. Now, most of those corrective actions were supposed to be completed by last Friday, so I've reached out to the plant to see if they have. They gave us a general statement saying we continue to implement redesign improvements and enhance our safety uh, management systems based on OSHA's findings. But faulty brakes on a crane is a pretty serious violation. Has this family considered filing a lawsuit? Have they said anything about taking action against international paper? Well, they say that they have met with a lawyer, but according to laws in Georgia, because it is a workers' comp claim and he is no longer here, they cannot sue international paper for a death on the job. Now, there may be other loopholes that an attorney might know about, but at this point, no, there's no lawsuit. So $14,000 in fines. And that's it. All right. Christy, thank you. Christy.